One reason why many English students, or even you, think that your level of English is low is because you use simple words. It is time to level up your English vocabulary. Hello, my name is Maddie from POC English. If you want to dramatically improve your level of written and spoken English, then you have to stop using simple words. But what are simple words? Words such as interesting, beautiful, good, bad, fine, happy, sad, really, very. These are simple words or simple adjectives which are very common in everyday speaking and writing. So, to improve your writing and speaking, you can find some alternatives to these simple words. Now, let's begin. You know, I read this book yesterday and it was really interesting. All right, hold on. Interesting? What else can you use instead of the adjective interesting? Well, if it is something that makes you think, you can say thought-provoking. Repeat after me, thought-provoking. Which means something that makes you think. For example, it's a thought-provoking book, or it was a thought-provoking movie, or hmm, your opinion made me think. Your opinion was thought-provoking. If it is something that holds your attention, which means you cannot pay attention to anything else and you have to focus 100% on it, you can say it's gripping, right? Gripping or captivating. Repeat after me, gripping, captivating. If it is something that is generally good, you can say fascinating, which means very interesting, or appealing, which means pleasant. You can also use the adjective charming, which means very good. To sum up, instead of an interesting book or an interesting movie, you can say a thought-provoking book a gripping book, a captivating book, an appealing book, a fascinating book, and a charming book. See? Let me tell you a story. A few months ago, I visited the city of Rome in Italy, and it was beautiful. Wait, hold on a second. Beautiful? What else can you say instead of beautiful? Well, if it was something which was unusual and so good that attracted your attention, you can say it was striking. Striking. Repeat after me. Striking. Or another synonym with striking is stunning. Stunning. Stunning means something which is very attractive and impressive. And then you can also use the adjective magnificent. Magnificent, which means very impressive, very beautiful. So, striking, stunning, magnificent. If it is something that you enjoy looking at, you can say eye-catching. Eye-catching. It means it catches your eyes. So, it's eye-catching. You enjoy looking at it. Eye-catching. You can also say spectacular spectacular. Now pay attention, it is not as spectacular. Spectacular, which means something that you like looking at, you enjoy looking at. If you are describing someone, saying that he or she is beautiful, you can use some other alternatives. For example, if you're talking about a girl or a woman, instead of beautiful, you can say gorgeous. Gorgeous. If you are describing a man, you can say handsome handsome. So, for women, we say beautiful and gorgeous, but we don't usually say beautiful to a man. Instead, we say he is handsome. However, for both sexes, like male or female, you can say attractive or good-looking. So, he or she is attractive. He or she is good-looking. She is gorgeous and beautiful. He is handsome. So, to sum up, instead of a beautiful city, you can say a spectacular city, something that you enjoy looking at, or an eye-catching city. 
Instead of a beautiful monument, like a beautiful church, you can say a striking monument or a stunning monument or a magnificent monument. And instead of a beautiful person, if she's a girl, you can say a gorgeous girl, a beautiful girl, a pretty girl. And if it's a boy, you can say a handsome boy. And for both sexes, you can say attractive and good looking. So far, I hope you're enjoying this lesson. If so, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, click subscribe. Plus, if you want to receive the PDF file of lesson summaries when I post a video on YouTube so that you can review the lesson easily, what you have to do is to go to my website, pocenglish.com. The link is down in the description. Click on the link, go to my website, type in your email address and click subscribe. You will receive the lesson summary each time I post a video on YouTube. And that's for free. And now let's get back to the lesson. You know, last weekend we went to the movies and the movie was fine. Art stop. Fine? Well, fine means of high quality. Something which is very good, very delicate, right? Instead of fine, what else can we use? If it is something that fulfills your expectations, you can say it was satisfactory. Satisfactory, which means it satisfied me. Hmm, that is much better than I thought. If it was lovely and very beautiful, you can say exquisite. Exquisite, which means extremely beautiful. If it was good, nice in general, or let's say appropriate, you can say it was decent. Decent. And if it was something which deserved attention and respect, which after seeing you would stand up and clap for it, you can say it was admirable or praiseworthy. Repeat after me. Admirable. Praiseworthy. Well done. So to sum up, Instead of a fine movie, you can say a satisfactory movie or an exquisite movie, which means a very beautiful movie, or a decent movie, that was a decent movie, or an admirable movie, or a praiseworthy movie. It's not just about movie, you can use it to describe other places and things as well, like an exquisite restaurant or an admirable book. Yeah. As I was saying, the movie was really good. Uh, hold on, hold on a second. It was really good, right? Well, really is an adverb and it is very much used in English language. What else can I use instead of really? Well, I can say genuinely, genuinely. Repeat after me, genuinely, which means originally, truly, sincerely, genuinely. It was really good. It was genuinely good. It was truly good. It was sincerely good. If you have no doubt about it and you are sure that it was very good, you can say it was undoubtedly. Lesson up, be silent. So you don't say undoubtedly. No, you don't pronounce the B. You say undoubtedly, undoubtedly. Or you can also say unquestionably, unquestionably questionably. Unquestionably means without questioning. We use these two to talk about something you are 100% sure of, which gets us to the next alternative, certainly. So it was certainly good. It was undoubtedly good. It was unquestionably good. If it was something which surprised you a little bit, for example, it was so good you didn't expect it to be, you can say it was remarkably good. Hmm. The movie was remarkably good. It means you could notice how good it is. Hmm. Look at what the director did. Look at the performance of the cast. It's remarkably good. Or another adverb you can use is incredibly, incredibly, which means to a great degree, very much. It was incredibly good. It was very good. All right, that's it, guys. In this lesson, we also talked about movies a lot because I'm a big fan. If you want to learn some movie vocabulary or to learn how to describe a movie, you can watch this lesson as well. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. See ya!